how is it that the governments were able to steamroll so many of the other rights that were written down in the charter? How, how did this play? How did it play out? Why did it play out? How was it able to be the case in Canada? Yeah, you know it as well as I do. They just went ahead and did it. And nobody, uh, uh, well, what really happened, I guess, is that um, early on, the uh, Imperial College of London uh, in England uh, issued a report which the White House in the, the United States, uh, uh, with the Parliament in, in Canada and all the world, brought into this fear mongering that the Imperial College of London said, where millions were going to die, some die in the streets. They even talked about this in the streets of, uh, of China at the time in Wuhan because of this uh, virus and so on. So a climate of fear was created very early on into this pandemic, <clears throat> which just about everybody bought into, except myself and a few others. But a lot of people bought into this. And this gave the government's license, they thought, to go ahead and violate uh, the freedoms and rights enshrined in the Constitution of Canada, and uh, unfortunately. So <clears throat> that's what happened, really, is that a mass psychosis overtook the, the society, and people uh, were very subservient once fear set in to going along with the government narrative. So I, it, it goes to show, as we know from history, that uh, very often leaders uh, reach their own um, limits, the, the normal limits that apply to a government or apply to a leader. And this is what happened in this sense. And I've been fighting ever since to get this back, to, uh, to get it now. Uh, we, we must say that the, the fight is not over. And this is the other thing that people say, well, the charter has been thrown out the window and that's the end of it. Well, if that was so, then the uh, courts of appeal of the provinces have not heard yet, nor has the Supreme Court of Canada. It's the lower courts that have heard the cases so far and have ruled against us and ruled for the governments.